G'day guys. Uh, I just thought we'd quickly go through a Jayco expander that we've literally just finished um, building for a young family. Uh, so we have done something similar in a Jayco expander, the 20 foot with the push up bed ends and the slide out couch in the past. This one is a little bit older, so it's a slightly different model than the ones we worked on in the past. And unfortunately it gave us even less space than the other ones. Um, but we have managed to fit our system into this van underneath the seat um, and utilize the space that um, was underneath the seat where the original system was. So we've, we've uh, one of the key things with these guys was they wanted to be able to run their air conditioner for extended periods of time. They've got a very young family. Um, kids are still having day sleeps. They do travel north a little bit. Um, so they do want to be able to run their air conditioner for relatively extended periods of time to make sure the kids get their sleep, which I'm sure we can all appreciate. Um, some of the other requirements were things like coffee machines, um, you know, toasters and kettles and those sorts of things. So they actually have a couple of appliances up here, which you can see, um, that they'd like, like to be able to run. Um, so yeah, we've, we've, Given them um, a really nice system, uh, four-wheel drive suite, uh, 560 amp hour of battery, and we've actually got 1170 watts of solar on the roof, and we haven't actually needed to modify the roof at all. So we're actually able to fit six panels in and around on the roof space without taking off anything on the roof as well, which was um, pretty pretty good. Um, we also one of the one of the big requests was to remove the three-way fridge and install a compressor fridge. So we've actually taken out the, um, I think it's like the uh, T two N two one seventy five or something like that. Uh, we've replaced this with the um, with the Thetford compressor fridge, uh, which is a really nice modern. Uh, yeah, really nice modern fridge. One of the key things with these um, Thetford uh, compressor fridges is they're actually fan forced. So they behave a lot more like your home style um, fridges as opposed to say a, um, a compre uh, plate, a uh, cooling plate style compressor fridge like your car fridges, I suppose, if you think about those. So yeah, they've got, um, brand new fridge which they're pretty excited about they can run their air conditioner for extended periods of time this is an ibis 3 so it is the old version um dometic or air command um, ibis 3 it's a very heavy consumer um we've had to do some modifications to the air conditioner um to make it be able to run off the um off the inverter um so uh that now works off the inverter um as with all of our builds of this nature, we have included um, a Simery monitoring package, uh, which has been installed in the overhead cupboard on our custom plate. Um, and as you can see, we get some really nice information from solar. Um, total inflows and outflows, obviously you can plug in your portable blanket up there as well. Um, and as you can see here, from, from a very, very average day, we've very much in cloud cover at the moment. We're still getting 32 amps of charge into the battery at, I don't know what it is, one o'clock in the afternoon, 2.30 2 in the afternoon on a almost winter solstice um, uh, day. So pretty cool. And obviously we give the inverter operation up the top here as well. Full 240 volt integration um, into the existing Jayco system. Um, they can run their hot water service on electric from the um, inverter as well, if they want to, if the sun's available and they've got enough energy to be able to do that, that's no problems. Um, so all of the appliances in the kitchen that they want to use, we've actually discussed with them swapping out for the smart oven, which is the same as what we've got in our van. Um, so they're going to have a look at doing that. Um, and that's pretty much the extent of the uh, of the build, guys. So, if you do have any questions in relation to this van or any others, as I as I say, please do get in touch. 
and we'd be happy to answer any questions.